The Fablemans is currently out on VOD and also in theaters. The film is not doing really good in theaters and it may get some Oscar nominations. Is the film any good or should you be skipping it? Let's talk about it. Growing up in post-World War II era Arizona, young Sammy Fableman aspires to become a filmmaker as he reaches adolescence, but soon discovers a shattering family secret and explores how the power of films can help him see the truth. The film stars Michelle Williams, Gabriel LaBelle, Paul Dano, Jude Hirsch, Seth Rogen, Keely Karsten, Julia Butters, and many others, and was directed by Steven Spielberg, who has done films like Jaws, Jurassic Park, Ready Player One, and many others. So going into The Fablemans, I watched the trailer for this film, and you know when you watch a trailer for a film, and you think to yourself, I know that I'm just not going to really like this film. It's not going to be for me, but I'll go ahead and check it out anyway. And I mainly checked out this film mainly because I thought that this film is supposedly supposed to get some awards or be nominated. So I figured, you know what, I'll just take a look at it and maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll like a few things about it. And positives for this film that I can really say is I did enjoy the cinematography in this film. I did think that it was done pretty well. I also did like learning how Steven Spielberg, how he started getting into film when he actually got to sit down and watch a movie for the first time and watch a train crash and how he wanted to react that and how he had the camera and how he did different shots with the camera and how he filmed different kind of scenes and stuff and how he got his friends together and stuff like that to do different kind of films. That was really cool to see on screen, but that's really where my positives end for this film. A lot of this film is really about Steven Spielberg's parents. They don't really get along. He has like different jobs he's doing. They're picking up and moving. It's the drama with the family. There's also drama with him at school, which has some extra fluff they throw in there. But I thought it was interesting that this film is really about him really getting into film and when he is actually filming, he always has all this equipment really readily available. It seems like he has no struggle actually getting this equipment. I found that it was just a little bit too easy for him to always have everything really readily available for him to film. And there didn't seem like there was really any struggles with him actually picking up a camera and having everything he needed and all the materials he needed at all times. I also found the film to be very vanilla. It just didn't seem like it had a lot of magic. You know, when you watch Jaws or Jurassic Park or Ready Player One or any of his films that he makes, it always has that magic and you're really captivated by the visuals. I found this film that I just wasn't really captivated most of the time. Most of the time, it's very slow moving. It's kind of dull at points. It's two and a half hours that is just a really slow moving film. And I think you just have to be really interested in learning about his life. And I just felt like most of the time when we're learning about him, you know, you see in a little bit in the beginning how he gets really interested in film and you see certain parts where he's filming and getting together with friends, which is really cool and stuff. But I don't really feel like the film is really about him really getting into film that much. It feels too much about the drama portion of his family. And I really didn't want to learn about that. It didn't really have a lot of message to it. It just seemed like chase your dreams no matter what the cost, I guess. And I just felt like the film itself, it just doesn't feel like a very memorable film. When you think about his films, you think about five star films, films that feel really memorable. And this film, it just doesn't feel very memorable. It feels like a film that won't even be talked about 15, 20 years down the line. It just doesn't seem like a film that the majority of audiences really want to go check out. And I say that because this film had a budget of $40 million. It only made about $7 million in theaters. And even though there were other films that were released during that week, those films didn't really make any other money either. I guess you could say that Black Panther was a couple weeks from it, but to me, I just don't think that there is a lot of interest for this film. I think that if you're really interested in learning about the drama of Steven Spielberg's life, this is going to be the film for you. But I felt that this was a very unnecessary two and a half hour film that really didn't need to be made. And if it gets Oscars, I wouldn't be surprised. I found the acting in this to be just okay. Nothing too spectacular. There's nobody that I'm jumping up and down for saying, give that person an Oscar. The score in this was just okay as well. I didn't really feel that there was really anything too much that really 
got me into the music or the soundtrack. However, there is one funny part towards the end that kind of made it somewhat entertaining towards the end of the film, but the way that the film ends, it ends on a note of not really going through too much of his life because this film only really tackles more so the child years and a little bit of the teenage years. We don't really get too much past, I would say, like high school age. And that was really disappointing because they really could have went a little bit further and went a little bit further into his life. And for someone that is directing this film, you would think that he would get like to go a little bit further into his life and how he got into the success of filmmaking and some of the bigger films that he did. But we don't really get to that point. It's just a very meh film for me. And as far as the score for this film, I would give it a 2 out of 5. I just don't see how this film is getting the scores that it's getting. It just isn't really much of a film for me. It's just kind of boring at points. And I can see where cinephiles, they probably will really like this film and eat it up. And they love Steven Spielberg. And that's great. I think he's a great director. But... I just don't think that this film really hit the spot for me. Thank you guys for watching. As always, did you like the film? Did you hate it? Did you think it was male like I thought? Let me know down in the comments, and I will see you guys on my next review.